What's good, what's good? This is Liam Coleman, and you're watching The Hollywood Chronicles. My upbringing, it's a good question. So I was born and raised in Portland, Connecticut. Um, my parents grew up in Portland, Connecticut as well, so they knew the town real well. Um, so they knew basically what I was doing at all times, you know, because they're doing the same thing when they were kids. And um, honestly, I was probably raised by my grandma, my Mima, on my dad's side a lot. She had a huge influence on my life. Um, yeah, dude, just a uh, typical middle-class little sub suburban family. All right, describe your high school experience. High school experience was, uh, was a good one. Uh, I'd say my identity was like, like a jock, like a football player kind of dude. And um, I was, uh, so I was popular, you know, hung out with like the cool kids. Uh, my, my high school was very small though, so it wasn't that hard to be well known, you know. Um, very small school, like 92 people in my graduating class. Um, and like the high school was literally like just designed as like a square. It was literally just like gym, like English hall, math, and like that's it. It was super small school, but good. Like overall, a great time. Uh, I don't know what else you want to know. No, that's good. That's good. How would you define art? Mm. That's a great question, man. Art. What's like your definition of it? Like, what would what would you describe it as? Hmm. Art is the transfer of the creativity that comes from your minds into reality. I like that, I like that. What got you into photography slash videography? Mm. So, yeah, back to my family. Um, I would say, ever ever since I can remember, my grandma was always following the, me and my cousins and the whole family around with, the, with this video camcorder, um, this little uh, Panasonic, little like handheld camcorder and I thought it was the coolest thing ever and um, she would get us all together after like a vacation and we all sit down and watch on the TV and uh, I, I thought it was so cool just being able to capture the moment and like rewatch things and when I was playing football like my highlights like I would go back and I watch them and um, my mom was always taking pictures and the biggest thing that got me into it would probably be in high school, shout out Mr. Hummingston. Um, it was a broadcast and media class. And this was the first time where I had, like, was introduced to like, Adobe Premiere and like editing softwares. And we'd just go around to school and like make little fun videos, me and my friends. Uh, shout out Deontay, Carter. Um, yeah, just having fun with it. And um, the whole process, I, I kind of just fell in love with. All right. What is one piece of work you would show someone that you are most proud of? One piece of work I would show someone I'm most proud of. Man, I would probably go with the action bronze and visuals I made just because of um, the, the setting it was displayed on, uh, New York Rolling Loud in front of like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. And the fact that um, it, it was just like, it was awesome. My, my cousin Jake gave me the, the the project to do, and I had like a couple nights to do it. I scrapped it together. I was in class finding stock footage to put together. And um, I sent out the first copy. Jake saw it. He was like, dude, like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's a montage of dolphins. Like, like what, like, isn't this like what you want to do, bro? Like, he's saying this to me, and I'm just like, Damn, like yeah, you're right. Like this, I have a huge opportunity. I need to take this and go all in. And um, yeah, I 
it actually happened to be one of my friend's birthday. So we were going out that night, and instead of going out, I um, stayed put and, and I grinded on that video. I was looking up YouTube videos on how to do the effects and everything on it, and um, I ended up getting all the right stock footage that he needed. Shout out Action Bronson, he said he wanted American badass shit, and I was able to make that come to life for him. And um, yeah, in, in crunch time, so I was very proud of myself for that. That's good, that's good. Where did the name Mailman Media come from? Ooh, yes, that's a good one. Um, CJ, I'm sure, I'm sure you know about it already a little bit, but so Mailman Media, I remember being in fourth grade, and I remember we were just like learning how to spell words, and one of the words was mail, and like a, like a, it's not a spelling bee, but like it was a great assignment. And I spelled mail, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, Male backwards is spelled Liam. Like, that's me. Like, male Liam. Like, there needs to be some type of correlation. Back then, I didn't know what it was. But um, as I got older, I was like, male Liam. Like, what can I kind of make out of this? Like, I, and um, Mailman Media, I'm not going to take the credit for it. Honestly, it was my cousin Jake who kind of came up with the name, and he was like, Mailman Media. Um, always delivers better than the U.S. Postal Service, delivered on time. Um, so I really, really liked that name and I stuck with it. And that same night, Jacob, actually my cousin, shout out Jacob, I love you, bro, made the logo for me and I took it and I used it. <laughs> Said it was mine. So um, yeah, shout out to him. But yes, I am on my media. So. That's good, that's good. Do you think the camera makes the person or the person makes the camera? CJ. Do I think the person makes the camera or the camera makes the person? Yeah. Ooh, that's like what came first, like the chicken or the egg. Like, um, do I think, it's just, that's a tough one. I gotta think about it. Does like, do you think anybody can be a photographer or a videographer and you think like, you have it or you don't? I think anybody could put their minds to what they want to do. So anybody could. Um, it's just some people are more like naturally talented than others when it comes to it. But of course, anybody can pick up a camera and just start shooting and fall in love with it and, and, and get good at it. But um, oop, where's my laundry? <laughs> um, but um, nah, I think. They're definitely, nah, the person definitely makes the camera, bro, 100%. Because the, the camera can only, you know, do so much. Like, all these, like, 4K, all these uh, different features um, to boost your quality and whatnot. But all, all it comes down to is who's behind that camera. Like, um, it's what really overlooked is just, like, what's in that shot. And, um, yeah. All right. Who are some people in the creative space you look up to? Yeah, you know, number one, man. Cole Bennett. That is my biggest inspiration. Always has been. Um, Lyrical Lemonade, he's killing it. Um, I've been following him for years. And yeah, man, he's, he's definitely the best in the game. And he's... He's very genuine about it, and he's dating probably the hottest girl in the world. <laughs> Somewhere, in, uh, nah, cut that out. But um, <laughs> um, so yeah, Cole Bennett, um, this guy John Knight, who I've been watching all of his stuff, super dope with the animations. Um, just I like, I really like the fact that like Cole Bennett when he's coming up, John Knight now, like all all these dudes need is like a DSLR and like a laptop and they just go crazy with like the editing and just like, you know, you can have all these things like, you know, the camera operators and, and like gaffers and extra people on set. But like, I just love the genuinity out of it. Like just, you just go out there and it's just you and the artists, you guys are coming up with ideas. And, and I think Cole and both John and I really showed that. And another guy, Recently, I've been watching his Mooch. 
20 years old. He actually went to Sacred Heart University in Connecticut, which I thought was really cool. Played the cross there, dropped out, and um, he's pursuing uh, the music video directing thing. And I thought that was really cool. He worked with Ian Dior, and like every single one of his videos was blown up, like the half scene at least. So he's he's dope, man. It's good. Um, who are three artists you would like to make a video for? Three artists I would like to make a video for. Number one, Blue Izzy Vert. We're out of the top of my noggin. That, I feel like that'd be insane. I would love to meet that dude. I feel like his energy is always there. And I love his music. Um, R.I.P. Juice World. Um, I don't know. I, that would have been insane to just survive with him and see what he was like in, in real life, man, because I, when he passed away, it was, it was really, I felt like I actually knew him. Like, it was weird. So him, and um, I, I really like the, like the high energy, uh, like, you know, like underground rappers, um, like Ken Carson, or uh, Yeet, like, you know, those two. Um, I'm really into like the dance community and the uh, high energy music, so I think, uh, my visuals would definitely match with their flow. What's your thought process when it comes to editing? Mm. My thought process when it comes to editing. I love editing, man. You know me. I'm uh, once I once I start, I, I don't want to stop. And um, it's addicting. It's addicting. Adobe Premiere. I've gotten really comfortable with it. Um, my editing process is obviously before you start editing, get all the clips in order, organize them put them in the assembly and um, I try to tell a story the best I can and chop up that footage the best I can to tell that story before I add any effects, before I add any transitions, before I color grade and from there it's just uh, separating the clips, uh, you know like you got your b-roll, you got your performance shots and uh, like color coding them so you know which is different this guy's performing here, this guy's performing here, uh, different places, this and that. And then from there, once you got a good story told from that footage, um, then you can go into, okay, what effects might work here, what effects might work here. Um, transitions play a huge part, but like, basically, not going too crazy with any effects or transitions, just kind of keeping them like subtle, because you don't want to do too much Especially if you don't really know what you're doing. So, yeah, man. That, that would be my, my stuff. And then, last question Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? <sighs> Dang, man, that's a good question. So, I'm in college right now. You know, I'm 21, just turned 21 in August. Um, I, I have a lot of big ideas and big plans. Um, I'm not gonna say it all because I don't like to talk. I, I, I want to show you guys what I'm up to. Um, in five years, man, I, I see myself um, really having my own style when it comes to my video production. Um, having a very, very strong portfolio that I can show to people. Um, traveling the world. Just being happy, man. Creating art with like, like the people I love, and um, yeah, man. It's, it, it's it's not essentially about the money. I mean, I can't say that now because like I don't have it. And but like, for me, it's never been about the money. I I just want to make the best art I can and make other people proud. And uh, yeah, man.